Well, hello everybody. Gonna do a little video today. Um, I had, I hope you guys seen my video that I did a few weeks ago about ballistics gelatin testing on 223s. That day I was shooting the Hornady bulk ammo or bulk projectiles that was the spider point boat tails, just the soft point uh, bullet. And then the other one I shot was a nozzler ballistic tip. Um, the ballistic tip just fragmented. There was hardly any penetration. The bullet fragmented um, on the Hornady spider point boat tail. It held together pretty well, penetrated about 10 or 12 inches if I remember right, but it held together pretty well. Probably retained about 70% of bullet weight. So I got a request from uh, one of my lifetime friends and, uh, and a follower of the channel. He asked me to do some more ballistic testing. So I've got four bullets we're gonna do today. The first one is a Sierra Game King, 55 grain. This is his kind of go-to bullet. So him and I are kind of doomsday prepper kind of type guys. We would never promote using a 22 caliber for deer. I know people have done it. Um, people say 22, 250, they've killed a lot of deer and antelope size game with it. I'm not promoting that. Each to his own, whatever works for you. For me, that's too small. But on the same hand, it's nice to know what these bullets, how they'll react. That 55 grain bolt, uh, Hornady bullet, if I was in a pinch and had to take a deer at close range, I think with that bullet holding together, it would probably be just fine. I got a feeling this Sierra Game King is going to be the same way. But I've got uh, three other bullets. I've got a Hornady VMAX, a Nosler Varmageddon bullet, and a Spear TNT. So we're going to shoot the ballistics gel today and see how these bullets react. The first thing we're going to do is shoot this Sierra Game King because I think it's going to hold together. And what I'm going to try to do is aim at the bottom of the ballistic block. And I'm hoping just to, to use a knife and dig the bullet out and see what it looks like. I got a feeling that Varmageddon, that TNT, and the, let's see, VMAX is the other one. I think they're going to fragment. I don't think they'll hold together. But I don't know. I mean, that's what's fun about this. We're going to give it a shot and see what it does. All right, guys, let's go have a look. Uh, forgot to mention that all of these uh, loads today are going around. I use the same powder charge of some CFE 223. They're all going around 3,100 feet. To me, it's it's not interesting enough to chronograph them all. Um, yeah, they're gonna be slightly different. One's a 50 grain bullet, one's a 55, um, one's a 53. So honestly, I don't really care. They're gonna be so close in pretty much any application. I think they're gonna behave about the same. So we'll see what they do and see if we can find the bullet. All right, guys, I guess we all get to have a good laugh together. I missed the block. That's where the bullet went in and it just, it hit the top of the table. I missed the block completely. So I just barely skimmed the bottom of the gelatin. So this close range, I thought I was aiming right up into here, but Pretty awkward to tell. All right, guys, here we go again. It's 55 grain Sierra Game King. All right, guys, I'd say that's excellent bullet performance. You can see the entry right there, and the bullet really shed a lot of energy right there. That's quite a wound channel. Um, of course, I forgot my tape measure again. This 16 inch block, so that penetrated about 12 inches. I'm gonna dig that bullet out of there, but I'd say that bullet performance is outstanding. All right, guys, there's the bullet. Um, the bullet held together really good. You can see the base of it right there. I don't have, the, I didn't bring the scales out with me, but that's great bullet retention. Um, about 12 inches in penetration. You guys see where it went right there? on a 16 inch block um outstanding that is that is about perfect bullet performance is what i would say all right guys well that was pretty interesting on the cr game king you know i mentioned earlier in the video that uh that me me and my buddy the guy that uh that requested this video we're always kind of thinking about the what if scenario so i'm going to say with that bullet performance as much weight retention as that had 
The way it mustered, the way it held together, 12 inches penetration. If a guy was in a complete pinch and had to shoot a deer sized game with a 22 caliber, that's probably the bullet I would choose. Um, you know, they're they're not like a premium long range bullet or anything. They're pretty reasonable cost. They're not as cheap as those bulk bullets, but um, yeah, I mean, outstanding bullet performance. Even if a guy was shooting coyotes or prairie dogs, um, of course a prairie dog ain't gonna survive that. Uh, a coyote's not gonna either. Um, with that kind of mushroom, that kind of uh, energy, I, I mean, I think that'd be a great bullet. So next, what we're going to shoot is this uh, Hornady VMAX. I got a feeling this bullet is not going to hold together, which it depends on what your purpose is. If you're shooting prey dogs pretty much exclusively, these fragmenting bullets, they do a number on a prey dog. Holy smokes. Uh, coyote also. Um, I wouldn't be scared to shoot a coyote with these bullets that fragment. If this one does, we'll see what it, we'll see what the performance is. But, um, you know, I, I mentioned that's perfect bullet performance. I guess in context, you got to say perfect for what? What is your purpose of the round? Um, I would say all around, um, pretty hard to beat that Sierra Game King. We'll see how the Hornady does. Yes, and by the way, it is cold enough for the ugly hats. It's uh, maybe 20 degrees right now. It is stinking cold. Uh, it's the end of December. Uh, we've had a pretty run, pretty cold stretch. It's winter. That's what we do, but it's stinking cold. All right, guys, here we go. Hornady VMAX. All right, guys, let's go have a look. All right, guys, hopefully you can see, but there is like what the wound channel is, and it, that bullet just, I'm gonna say, almost exploded. Hopefully you can see there's a fragment of bullet right there. That's only penetrated about that far. So from the from the side, see here's a piece of bullet. There again, it's only, it's only penetrated a few inches. Uh, there's, holy smokes, it's quite a, quite almost an explosion of a wound channel. All right, guys, so that last one was the Hornady VMAX. Um, not surprised at all of what that result was. Huge wound channel within just a couple inches of penetration. Uh, there again, it depends on what you're, what you're looking for. To me, the VMAX is not the bullet that I want to invest a lot of time and effort into. I mean, it only penetrated, I'm telling you guys, three, four inches. I mean, it was a huge wound channel. I mean, it, it blew up, uh, transferred tons of energy. Um, prairie dogs probably the ideal bullet if if prairie dogs i'm not sure a coyote coyotes have more will to live than any animal i've ever been around i'm not sure that's what i'd call is the right uh bullet for coyotes i don't know that for sure i honestly don't have a ton of experience with coyotes maybe that flattened a coyote in a second probably would the way it fragmented coyotes are thin thin enough skinned um and maybe coyotes would be better because you wouldn't have an exit wound if a guy was was hunting for fur but uh, man alive, it, there's, it was just almost looked like BBs in there the way that bullet had just, just come apart. So I don't know, maybe if a guy's hide hunting for coyotes, maybe that is the right bullet. Then you'll only have one entry wound, no exit wound. So I don't know. So here we go. The next bullet we're going to do is a spear TNT. This is a 55 grain bullet. Got a big hollow point on it. And, uh, so We'll see how it is. I'll bet you this guy's going to react about like that VMAX did, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, guys, here we go. This is a 50 grain spear TNT. All right, let's go see how it looks. All right, guys, I'm a little bit surprised. So the wound channel's over here. That bullet is about there. That penetrated, I'm going to say about uh, about the same as that Sierra Game King. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there next to it. That wound channel's right there of the Sierra. This is the spare TNT. We're going to dig that out and see what it looks like. I am really shocked, guys. I see some fragments, right, you know, within a couple inches. 
uh, lots there's a few fragments around so dumped a ton of energy but still held together and did a little bit of penetration let's see what it looks like all right guys so that is the bullet i dug out that's the spear tnt hole point and i'm shocked it held together that good the core and the jacket did stay together there was some fragmenting um there was fragmentation because it's not held up as good but uh as far as weight retention all right guys well that was a little surprising i thought that tnt would shed more energy and and fragment more but i'll tell you i have loved spear hot core bullets of course hot core on a big game bullet's not the same as a tnt but spear is almost one of those unsung bullets you don't hear gun riders riding about them you don't see many people doing much spear hot core bullet has been around for decades i've used it in a 264 wind mag for 30 years that is a great bullet um i'm gonna do some ballistics testing on it um i mean they're 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 cheap compared to a lot of the other bullets the, the main hunting bullet i use on my 264s is a nozzer acubond great bullet killed an elk with it this year but boy I, I think that we overlooked that spear hot core a lot and it's it's a great bullet so anyway I am shocked how that TNT held up, honestly. I, I would have expected uh, some different results. That's a great bullet. Um, uh, that is almost, to me, a little bit of the blend of that VMAX that, that essentially just exploded upon impact, shed a ton of, ton of energy, no penetration. If that's what you're looking for, that, that may be the right fit, but that spear TNT almost was the blend. It got some penetration, it shed a bunch of energy, huge wound channel, Anyway, Spear is a great bullet. So now we're shooting a 55 grain Nosler Varmageddon. Man, that baby has got a huge hollow point compared to that TNT. So we'll see what this guy does. I think it's gonna it's gonna do a lot of fragmenting. So Nosler is a great bullet. Nobody can argue that point. So we'll see how this one holds up. Okay guys, so this is the Nosler Varmageddon 55 grain. Alrighty, let's see how she held up. Okay guys, I'm surprised more and more every day. There's the bullet. That's about nine, 10 inches of penetration. Um, I've kind of been shooting in this same area, so it's a little bit hard to see the wound channel, but you can see it, that it's uh, got a ton of energy right there that it's dumped, huge wound channel, but uh, the penetration was much better than I thought. I'm gonna tip it over and take that bullet out. All right, guys, so there's the bullet. Not much left of it. Weight retention-wise, very, very minimal. There ain't much to it. A little bit of that lead core, you can see the jacket of there is still a little bit attached to it. Not much. Penetration of the wound channel is pretty good, you know, about nine inches or so. See it from this angle. This is the one we got it out of right there. All right, guys, so that was interesting. A um, little bit of surprising results. So uh, we'll just kind of recap what we've seen today or what we learned. So the Sierra Game King, by far the best weight retention and the furthest penetration. So I'm gonna say, uh, if it depends on what a guy's goal is. If a guy wants to pick one bullet, have one load to do everything, I would probably have to say the Game King is the way to go. Um, saying you're gonna shoot prey dogs, coyotes, and if you was in a complete jam, maybe a, a deer sized game animal. The Sierra Game King, I think, would be the best bullet for that. Uh, second one we did was the uh, Hornady VMAX. That was the one that had the less weight retention. Um, it just exploded on impact and only penetrated about three or four inches. So if a guy was hunting hides with coyotes, maybe that's the right bullet. Then you only have one small entry hole. You would have no exit hole. So lots of energy chance for the VMAX. Uh, the next bullet was the TNT or yes, the Spear TNT. It held together, had good good uh, penetration, um, kind of a mix between the two. Um, I don't know if you could go wrong with that in any application. And then the last one is the Varmageddon. It had a ton of energy transfer, uh, it fragmented, it still had some penetration. Um, so 
it just depends on what you're looking for i suppose um for me i think if i was going to pick one of these four bullets i would go with the sierra game king the bolt that i am sticking with for myself is that hornady spider point boat tail in that bulk form it is less than half of what the cost is on the sierra game king and it performed very very similar not as good uh, this sierra game king was awesome perfect mushroom um i think the uh weight retention the sierra game king was better but um i'm buying these for about nine or ten cents a piece the sierra game king's about the cheapest i've seen on those about 25 cents a piece for me i'm in a i'm a tight wad and that's what i'm gonna stick with so anyway thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video uh please subscribe